Hi there, my name is Amanda and I'm the blogger and TPTer behind the Primary Gal. In this video, I would like to answer a question that I get asked often. How do you know or how do you assess your students so that you can place them in the correct level? So I do have some assessments. These are in my TPT store, but you could certainly use any assessment that would give you some information on math facts and computation. So what I like to do is give my students a one minute time test. I can learn a lot from a one minute time test. And I just give them addition facts. I ask them to do as many as they can. They can skip around whatever you do or don't want out of them. And I like to see what strategies do they use? Do they know how to use a hundred chart? Are they using their fingers? Are they making tally marks? Do they have a clue what to do with those in general? And then if they kind of have a clue, or maybe if they're a second or a third grader, I might also ask them to complete some addition and subtraction problems. These could be something that you make up on the fly. This could be something from grade level content that they're doing. It could be something that you already have available to you. It could honestly be you Google two digit by two digit addition worksheets, print a worksheet, ask them to do it and see how they can perform and just see what they can do on their own. Also, kind of to back up, I skipped right into math facts, but also can they identify letters? Can they count? How high can they count? Some of those things are also valuable skills for you to assess. So what I like to do is give those assessments just to see how they do and then see which seems most appropriate as far as math interventions. So we have a math intervention for numbers and counting. So if you do have students who are truly struggling to identify those numbers, write those numbers, count on their own, maybe they're struggling with one-to-one -one correspondence, that intervention would be perfect for helping them master some of those letter or number recognition and counting skills. Beyond that, maybe they have that, but they don't know what to do with it afterwards, math facts. Maybe I, I have a lot of kids who they don't even understand yet the concept of addition and subtraction. Fact family, some of those basic skills that will be helpful to them. We can also practice on training them to use a hundreds chart, to use um, touch points, to count on, all of those things so that they can begin to understand how to do addition or subtraction. Maybe you have students who do fairly well with that. They understand the concept. They can use one of those strategies, whether it be a hundreds chart, drawing a picture, touch points, whatever, they have that. So then maybe you want to move on to some two or three digit computation. With or without regrouping, there are options there. So for me, I suggest for you to assess your students and see, can they recognize numbers? Can they count? How do they do with some of those basic skills? Assess them on their ability to just complete math facts. I like to do a time test, but you could certainly just give them the problems and ask them to complete it. But for me, if it's really frustrating for them, I don't want them to do the whole page. Give it a minute, move on, and you can gather a lot of information from that. And then do some two-digit and three-digit computation. So for me, I like to give them one problem that does not require any regrouping. One problem that does require regrouping, both of those with two digits. Then move on to three digits, one with regrouping, one without regrouping. Then move on to um, something that might require them to regroup two times. Maybe they can do it once, but move on to two times and they just lose it. You know, whatever the case may be, give them some problems that kind of build upon that natural level of can they do this but not this? How do they do with this? What is difficult? What is easy for them? Again, I do have pages in my TPT store, but they do not have to be used. You don't have to use those to know, okay, this is where we would go in the reading or the math series. So I hope that helps you properly place your students in the correct level.